So I promised I'd do a little video to show you um, how these kegs work. They're a little bit, well, at least I was confused a bit because there's so many options. But it actually turns out they're fairly straightforward once you know which bits to get. Um, so these were two 15 litre ones that I got. They came like this uh, with this kind of old fashioned uh, bone stopper with a square profile. What you can do is use a hammer. It just happens to fit perfectly. <coughs> and the older ones have these kind of aluminium ones. This is a bit corroded. Well, not really a fan of it. And uh, normally what you would do then is um, have some sort of cloth uh, washer that goes around that and uh, basically that keeps it keeps it tight because I didn't like it I went and bought a couple of the more modern versions they only cost like three euro or something um, so that's also aluminium I think on the inside with the uh, rubber coated there are other versions that have the uh, star kind of profiles then you need a really special tool to do that and uh, I believe that they're a bit crap to be honest um, and then there's the two bung holes, the one for the tap and then the one with the vent on top. They, they both came with these little covers which you can also buy for a couple of cent each. And uh, you can take a look in there. So yeah, it's fairly smooth uh, and there's a slight bevel on the on the inner hole. So what you need there then uh, to seal them are these little bungs. Um, so obviously it's got a ferrule on the uh, on the inside so that when the pressure is pushing it's pushing against the the inside of the cask and uh, it won't pop out so this is the outside and uh, the tools the proper tools for putting these in are really stupidly expensive I think it was like 290 euro for this um, stainless steel thing where you put it in it's a bit like a um, wine cork because you put it in you, you press down a lever it compresses it just the right size so it slips in nice and neat but I saw on a German forum uh, a guy using a bit of a broom handle, so I did the same thing. Um, just need to make sure that you get a kind of a nice 90 degree angle on that. Uh, so I put that on a, a belt sander. And actually it's worked, but I bet this won't fucking work now. Uh, so I just put the little bung on the inside so it's sitting just inside the, uh, the beveled edge. And try and keep this kind of central even and whack and you can see inside there then it's just flush uh, with the inside then so the broom handle doesn't let it go any further and that's it that'll keep it sealed so you need one in there and one on the top and uh, obviously you, you fill and wash and everything through the through the bigger one and uh, I saw so I filled one last week and uh, after a day I was like leaking a little bit so you gotta really tighten that um, so I might actually I have an old one of these hammers so what I might do is take the handle off because I don't trust the wood with really high pressure and I'll just put a metal bar through and that gives you a fairly decent uh, turn for pressure on it so that's pretty much it really um, just need to get the keg or the cask itself the bones are only a few cent each like get a hundred of them or something at a time and then I would recommend replacing uh, if it comes with the old-fashioned metal ones that need the cloth washer uh, replace them with the three or four euro rubber coated ones and they're all set came fairly clean um, not much else to say about it uh, what I'll do is I'll make another little video to show the uh, the tapping technique because that's a pain in the hole and that's something that really frightened me because uh, you see all these horror videos with guys getting kegs like this and then they're bashing taps into it and their beer spraying all over the place but there's a technique to do that as well